Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel and happy new year. It is officially 2021. It is January the 3rd for me. So January the 4th for you guys. And I am starting off the year with a cleaning video. Um, I am going to be decluttering and just pretty much organizing my pantry slash stockpile. So this is what I have remaining of my stockpile since we've moved into my mother-in-law's house. I actually haven't even bothered um, refilling it so this is what i have left so this is where i have all of my pantry stuff and my stockpile stuff so if you guys would like to see how i deal with having just a little bit of space then please go ahead and keep on watching So as you guys can see, I don't have much of a stockpile anymore. If you guys have seen my previous stockpile videos, I had a full closet and right now it's literally just the top two rows. We have been going ham on my stockpile ever since we moved into my mother-in-law's house and I don't plan to refill it anytime soon just because we don't have room uh, for me to actually keep growing my stockpile. So I am so excited to just get to our new home and start start doing couponing again or start couponing again to refill my stockpile it is so satisfying so pleasing to just open up a pantry or open up a closet and see everything that you have especially knowing that you saved so much money on it but yeah so i like to try and keep my stuff organized categorized um up top i have like most of my detergent clorox wipes slash cleaning products and then um, I have like my all my body washes and stuff. And then in the second row, I have everything else. Shaving cream, hairspray, mousse, um, face wash, and just a whole bunch of random stuff. Again, because I don't have a lot of stuff. It's just a whole bunch of random stuff, which also drives me crazy. I hate not having like a full row of the same thing. But for now, I just have to deal with it. And then when I got over to the medicine stuff, I just decided to throw it all in this jar. Um, again, we are temporarily staring, staying at my mother-in-law's house and I do have my kids and then sometimes my nieces and nephews come over. So it's just, I guess, for everyone's safety. I was just trying to put the medicine where one, they wouldn't be able to grab it or two, it would take them, I guess, a little bit longer to get to it before some of was noticed. Not that they ever dig into medicine, but you know, I was just trying to be safe rather than sorry so since i did have that empty um glass jar i just went ahead and threw all the medicine in there And then moving on to the last side of that second row, I have a whole bunch of school supplies for the kids. We have slowly been stocking up on school supplies because we are hopeful that one day they'll actually get to go back to school. Um, so every time I see a sale or like some sort of glitch on school supplies, I definitely always jump on it. Now moving on to the third row, this is where my pantry starts. So I do have all my stuff separate just because my mother-in-law is such a hoarder. Like I am going to throw her under the bus. She is a hoarder and she has tons and tons of stuff. So I honestly don't, there's really no room for me to put my stuff. So this has became my stockpile slash pantry. So this is where I keep like all of pretty much anything that I would have at home in my pantry this is where it belongs or this is where I have it.
by the way let me shout out real quick those spicy noodles you know the ones that everyone used for the spicy noodle challenge so i tried them i have never tried them with the full packet of um sauce or chili or whatever it's called but i do put a little bit on it and they are so so good and they actually are very addicting um we order two to three packs per month and every pack has five bags of noodles and they usually don't last the entire month um but yeah those things are so good if you haven't tried them out i definitely recommend them i do just recommend that you do not put the entire package of noodle uh, uh not the entire package of noodles but the entire package of chili because if you do they are extremely spicy so definitely take it easy but 100 recommend if you love noodles these right here are the bomb So at this point, I was just trying to put all my cooking stuff on that row and I wanted to leave the second to last row for all of the boys' snacks just so it's easier for them to reach. Um, I That's actually how it started. I had like a full row just full of their snacks. But again, when they grab something, they usually don't put it back where it belongs. So just kind of throw it wherever it falls. Um, so I did my best to kind of put all my cooking stuff in this row. I did have to leave a few things um, on that snack row, but for the most part, everything fit there. Right, and that is going to complete today's video. This is how my stockpile slash pantry ended up looking. I know it doesn't look like 100% organized, but it definitely looks better than what it did when I first started. Um, on the side, as you guys can see, I have just all the stuff that I have been buying for our new home and just hoping that it is ready pretty soon. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.